know, here at the 33rd team, we believe that the offseason is a wonderful opportunity for quarterbacks to get better at their craft. And during my 17 years in the NFL, every offseason began with some teaching tapes. And of course, we'd start with the interception and the sack reel. But if I were the Baltimore Ravens and their new offensive coordinator, Todd Munkin, what I would do is we'd have the interception and the sack reel, but that's what not what I would start with. I'd put together a teaching tape called sustainability for my quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Think about Lamar Jackson and what he has done in his first five seasons. No quarterback has rushed the ball more than Lamar Jackson in his first five seasons. 727 rushes. That's under just under 12 rushes per game. Now, you compare that to some other quarterbacks, Josh Allen, around seven rushes a game. Kyler Murray, under seven rushes a game. Patrick Mahomes, under four uh, carries per game. Even Justin Fields, who's learning how to play the quarterback position in Chicago, a guy that relies on his legs more so than his arm, he's only averaging around nine carries per game. So if I'm coaching Lamar Jackson, who's missed five starts each of his last two seasons, I have to teach him the best ability that he has is his availability. He has to be able to play all 17 games. And in order to do that, we've got to cut down on the number of rushes. But even more importantly, we have to be able to avoid the unnecessary hits. And so on my teaching tape, I'm going to feature three quarterbacks. I think these three quarterbacks give you a great example of quarterbacks that have played the game for a pretty long period of time, certainly the first two of them, but quarterbacks who don't miss starts and who don't miss snaps. At the top of my list is Tom Brady. Now, some of you may think, why would Tom Brady be on a teaching tape like this? Doesn't have great escapability, doesn't have great mobility, but what Tom Brady does better than any quarterback in the history of the game is throw the ball away. When he gets flushed, when something bad happens, when a protection breaks down, Tom Brady is the very best at simply throwing the ball away, avoiding a negative play, and not taking the unnecessary hit. That's how you play till you're 46 years old. Check out Tom Brady. Another quarterback that's been phenomenal. I would say the best quarterback in the last decade at protecting himself physically, believe it or not, is Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson has a baseball background. He played baseball at NC State. He actually played minor league baseball as a second baseman. And he is the best quarterback in the history of the game when it comes to sliding. Check out Russell Wilson. When he gets outside the pocket, he's going to get what he can get. And then he's the best at sliding. Third on that list is Patrick Mahomes. I think he does an amazing job of using his feet and his legs to escape pressure and to avoid the sack and the unnecessary hit. And like Russell Wilson, he's really good at the end of the play, either getting out of bounds or getting down by sliding and avoiding the unnecessary hits. Lamar Jackson has to understand that if you're going to run as much as he does, he can't afford to take the unnecessary hit.